there, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitars Dirty Hero song tutorial. In this lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Something in the Orange by Zach Bryan which is an awesome acoustic tune. For the basics you'll just need your guitar in standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now if you want to master your chords back to front then be sure to head over to guitarsreadyhero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook or if you want to improve on your guitar in general then sign up to Guitars Ready Hero Premium which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Alright let's jump into the lesson. Okay so let's start with the intro. Now this song is mostly in 6-8 timing, so the count goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to start with a nice and easy E minor chord shape, so index and middle finger on the 2nd frets of the 5th and 4th string. We're going to strum this with a down, up, down, down, up, down. And you can also think of it of just down, up, down, played twice. So again, the E minor, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we're going to play three quick notes. So I'm just going to call this riff one. And all these notes occur on the sixth string. Now when we get to riff one, the time signature changes from 6-8 to 3-8. So there's just three eighth notes here. So we're going to hit the second fret of the sixth string. We're going to hit it again and slide up to the seventh. So two, seven, and then open sixth string. So one, two, three. Then we go to a G chord. And we're just going to play that strumming pattern that we had for the E minor, but we're going to play it for two strumming patterns. So down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And the first line of chords for the intro. For the second line of chords, we stay on this G chord. We're going to play this for one strumming pattern. And then there's riff number two, which is another three notes. So we're going to go up to the seventh fret of the fifth string with our ring finger, and then down to the fifth fret, and then the open fifth string. So those are our three notes. And then we go back to our E minor for two strumming patterns. And that's it for the intro, which is really nice and simple and sounds like this in total. Next we get to the verse, which is quite simple and it's based around similar chords. So we're going to start with the E minor, and we're going to play this for one strumming pattern. So down, up, down, down, up, down. And then we're going to go to a D slash F sharp. So index finger goes on the second fret of the sixth string, middle finger on the second fret of the third, and ring finger on the third fret of the second string. So it's our D slash F sharp. Now we're going to play this for basically half of that strumming pattern. So again, this second bar is 3-8 timing, not 6-8 timing. So we're just going to play it down up down and then we go to our G for two strumming patterns so the first line of chords now the second line of chords we have our G for the second line of chords we stay on this G but we're going to slightly change our strumming pattern here we're going to be just strumming all that down strums at those eighth notes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're then gonna go down to a D slash F sharp, but we're just gonna play this for half a bar of those down strums. So one, two, three. And then we go back to our E minor, but we're gonna return back to our, our original strumming pattern. So down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So the second line of chords, one, And the verse in total. Now one thing that we can include in our strumming patterns to add more dynamic is palm muting. Now to palm mute, you take the fleshy bit of your palm, 
rest it lightly on the edge of the bridge whilst you're strumming and that gives you that nice muted sound which is quite good in those subtle moments like the verse. Now when you're palm muting you want to just pivot that palm at that point and you want to reduce your range of motion to just the top few strings of the chord. So with the down and the up strum motion I'm only hitting really the sixth and fifth strings. So together with the palm mutes the verse would sound like this. So that's with the palm muting and whether you use it or not is completely up to you. My suggestion would to be just feel it. If you want to take a section of the song down, use palm muting. If you want to build it up with a lot more power or dynamic, then slowly take the palm muting off. Next we get to chorus one, which is really nice and easy. There's two lines of chords here. So we have a C chord and then a G and then a D and then an E minor chord. Now our strumming pattern is going to go down, down, up, down, and repeated twice. So down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So that's our strumming pattern. We're going to play that for each chord you see up here. So that first line of chords is repeated through three times. And then the second line of chords, it's almost the same, except there's two bars of the D. So chorus one. The next thing to learn is chorus two, which is just the same as chorus one, except that first line of chords is played through four times. Now, one thing that you can also add to this chorus is on that C chord for the first down strum, you can hammer on your middle finger into place. And that adds a bit more of that sort of country vibe. The final chorus is the same as the second chorus, except there's no strumming pattern here. We're just strumming each chord and holding it out for a full bar. There are also two extra chords here to end the song, an extra D and an extra E minor. And that's everything for this song. Now in terms of structure, it's quite simple. We just have the intro that's played through twice. And then we have verse one, chorus one, verse two, chorus two, and then the final chorus, and that's it. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
supposed to go I poison myself again Something in the orange Tells me you're never coming home If you leave today I'll just stare at right the way The orange touches all things around The past reason do I said you Please turn those headlights around Please turn those headlights around Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.